Hi guys, I'm back with the Jen Arena landscape that we're working on and my paint has dried. Remember, if you don't have paint, you could do this with colored pencil or crayon. Now, if you did use paint like I did, here's something you may want to do. I actually erased my first line along the mountains and I made it touch the paint because sometimes when you paint this, the paint goes over your line or doesn't quite get to your line and it adds texture to your mountains when you do this. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to create a horizon line. Now the horizon line needs to come a little bit below your mountains and just go straight across like that. That is our horizon line. Now, I'm gonna actually add some trees. Now, the trees that I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add them as lines right now. And way back here in the back, they're gonna be short because we wanna make this have perspective, which means it looks like you're going into the picture. Now, about right here, I'm gonna draw some medium lines and then close up to the front, I'm gonna draw some taller lines. And these are gonna be my trees. Now, I'm gonna go up to here and I'm gonna show you on the mountains. We're gonna provide shading and texture for these mountains. So what I want you to do is go to the peak of your mountain draw kind of a jig jag line and let it come over and touch that side of the mountain. You're going to do this on each of your peaks. You can come way down and make it touch. You might come down and just come a little bit and make it touch. And we're going to do some shading on those spots of our mountain in just a second. So, now I have my mountain lines drawn. I have my horizon line drawn. I added lines for trees, and I added the lines for the shading on the mountains. Now I need to switch over to a black marker. If you have a Sharpie, that's great. If you don't, the black marker, and if you don't have a black marker, you could use a black colored pencil. I'm gonna start up with the shading in my mountains and I'm gonna go over that line that I drew oh actually sorry I need to go over the line that I drew around the mountains first I'm gonna go over this line like this and you see how it's really jig jag that's gonna add to the beauty of my final project And so now I'm going to go over those lines for the shading. Okay. Now, for the sh I'm going to go over this line, and it's okay if this line is bumpy because it's a horizon line, and it means it's the ground, and the ground is very rarely straight. I'm putting in my trees. Now, I'm going to add my shading lines. I'm going to let you get caught up with me because I kind of got fast. Okay, and I'm going to start putting the shading in the next one. Now, you notice my lines are very close together. 
This is going to look good if your lines are really close together. And you notice the lines are all going in the same direction. They're going from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper in that direction. You don't want them to go in different directions. Kind of doing this fast. I kind of let a couple of my lines go together, but that's okay. Alright, so there is my shading. And I may add, just to add texture, see how I'm making some freeform shapes on the sides of my mountain. Okay, and I'm going to fill those in with close lines. Okay, and then I may just put some little texture lines on my mountains. You want to space these out. You don't want them too close together. All right, now for the trees, I'm going to zoom way in to this big tree right here so that you can see what, I, what it is that I'm doing. Now, in my mind, I don't want to draw this on my paper because I don't want it to show. In my mind, I'm trying to make a tree that's going to be a triangle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me do it with my marker. I'm going to want a triangle coming out from each tree, but I don't want to draw it because it, it kind of doesn't look good. So, let me zoom in on this tree, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here at the top and I'm just going to start making lines that go out from each side and they're going to get a little bit longer. If they're kind of straight, that's okay too. Kind of go back and forth. Now, do you see how my tree is a triangle without me drawing the triangle? That is what I want. So, <coughs> I'm going to go to each tree. And remember, it's a tree. They don't have to be perfect because they grow in different directions. You know, they grow naturally. We've talked about that in my class there's not a cookie cutter for trees. Kind of going back and forth. Don't worry about if you kind of have open spaces in your tree areas right now, because we're going to go in and fix that. Now these are mini. Is they're far away. Okay, now I'm going to kind of look at these. If I think I need a few more lines here and there to make the tree look fuller, I can do that. Also, I'm going to add some more trees right up along here. I could do this all day, but I know you guys are wanting to do your own, so I'm not going to get carried away. But you could make a very full tree line where they're pretty solid going across. So now you can finish this off by just very carefully going around the circle with your black marker. Now one thing to watch out, you may want to let this all be sure it's dry before you go do this because if your hand goes across, you wouldn't want to ruin your picture by smearing your black marker. Oops, I just touched the paper.
Okay, so that gives it a finished look. If you want to turn off the video now and stop it, you may. I'm going to go ahead and add these other trees before I turn off the video so you can kind of see what it's going to look like to have a tree line. I kind of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Now some of these I'm making quite a bit shorter so they even look like they're further back than the trees that I just drew. So there you go. You have your landscape painting. And so just snap a pic and send it to me. Thank you.